Alex, just this line and continuity, just want to ask you how nice it is to have everybody back and, and to start in the same place as a unit and how that helps. Yeah, it's great. I mean, that's a big part of offensive line is uh, having continuity and be able to play together. So whenever you keep guys together for a couple of years, it really helps. Of the younger guy, the, the backups, if you will, right now, who, who's shown you something in here in camp so far? To be honest, everybody looks good. I feel like we got a good group. There's a lot of competition. Um, and to get some preseason games on and, and play some football. I think we had a really good group. Thanks, Alex. Next, we'll go to Jenna Lane. Lines, how different. Jenna, I can't hear a word you're saying. Was it last year for you guys? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. I think I can hear you now. Maybe. Go ahead, Jenna. Can you hear me now? Yes. Maybe. How, how has it been for you guys trying to develop a cohesiveness as an offensive line when you guys have things like COVID that are making it to where you, you can't be together in the building? Like just some of the challenges that you guys have kind of had to deal with when you when you don't get to spend time with each other off the field. To be honest, I don't think it's really affected us. Um, like, I mean, last year, yeah, you don't get to hang out as much outside the building and stuff like that, but we're still, I mean, we're here working a lot, so. We're still with each other all day, and a lot of that happens on the field anyways. So I don't think that's really bothered us. I think we all uh, get along good. We all enjoy working together. So I don't think that's been a problem. And I had asked Tyler this already, but you know, you have a quarterback that is playing at the age of 44 now today. You as a younger player, even though you guys play a different position, what have you been able to take from watching Tom every day and the way he's been able to do this um, at such a high level for so long? It's pretty crazy, honestly. It's pretty insane if you really think about it. But um, I think really with Tom, it's his attention to detail in uh, everything and his preparation, how he is on and off the field. I think that's what really separates him. He's He doesn't take anything for granted. Every detail is accounted for. Thank you very much. Next, we'll go to JC Allen. If any media have questions, please raise your hand. Hey, Alex, how are we doing? Great, how are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks, man. I uh, just wanted to ask you, you know, how back do you feel? I know obviously you've had a, enough time to recover, but are you at 100%? You look great in practice, but uh, do you feel 100%? Oh, yeah, I feel great. No problems. Um, I've been good. I mean, I was good in mini camps. So I've been good for a while. It's been fun to be rolling, but yeah, I feel great. And then just to touch on what Greg brought up about the, the backup competition, I, I've noticed the uh, second year guy, Nick Lavrette's been playing on the left side, the right side, also some time at right tackle. What has impressed you about his growth between last year into this year? Nick's a beast, man. We knew he was good last year too. Um, yeah, he's playing both sides and guard and tackle. So I think the great thing about Nick is how much he's always competing. He competes harder than anybody, always playing hard, always finishing. Um, yeah, I love playing with Nick. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Rick Stroud. Alex, I know you guys are driven to repeat, right, as Super Bowl champions. For you personally, though, with such a bad timing of that injury, just just how bad did it, was it for you not to be able to be out there playing the Super Bowl? I know, I know you're thrilled that you guys won and you had a big role in the season, but it feels like unfinished business for you a little bit personally? Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, obviously, I would have loved to be out there. I was trying to do everything I could, but um... – yeah, it's not like that. You can't really – I mean, it's a new season. We're, we're rolling on a new one, so we're just taking it day by day right now. Obviously, I would have loved to been out there, but it's a new season. We're on to the next one, so. I was obviously happy for the guys, too, so, I mean, it was still a freaking exciting time, you know? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Next, we'll go to John Ledyard. Alex, just uh, talking to Coach Arians, and he mentions kind of Aaron Stinney and what he's done, how he's grown, and that he's pushing you a little bit. And I'm just kind of curious how you view that. Has that been described to you by the coaching staff as, hey, this is an open competition between you two guys to start, see who's going to start at right guard? Do you consider yourself the for sure starter? Just wondering how you've approached that. I mean, it's always a competition. Obviously, everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to start. Everybody's competing. So, um I don't think you look at anything like for sure. I think we're all just competing, all trying to uh, put our best on the field. And you don't really view it like that, to be honest. Thank you. We'll go back to Jenna Lane. 
Hey, Alex, hope you can hear me now. Um, in that wild card game, um, if I remember correctly, you tried to continue playing with the broken leg. At what point did you realize that you broke it? And like, what was that like for you trying to try to continue? Uh, well, I came back out after halftime with it taped up, trying to see how it felt and uh, just, you know, trying to warm up for the second half, knew I couldn't go. And then I didn't know it was broken until we got the x-ray, but um, yeah, I mean, I tried, I tried to warm up after halftime. It just wasn't able to go. You really have no idea that it was broken. It did. I mean, did it not hurt that much or were you just I mean, trying you to know, you, I knew it hurt, but I didn't know it was broken though. I, I, <laughs> You don't, you don't really know. I mean, you don't know what happens until you really get it checked out. So I knew it would hurt, but I wanted to see if I could and couldn't do it. So, Unreal. Uh, last question will come from Leo Haggerty. Alex, what's the biggest change from your rookie mini camp and training camp to now when you're an established starter? Um... Well, my rookie mini camp, the rookie mini, well, it still was just me and Vita fighting the whole time at the rookie mini camp, so that hasn't changed too much. Um, but I think uh, you just gain more confidence, gain more experience, you see stuff better. Um, back in the day, Gerald was just beating me up when I was a rookie, so don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, I think, yeah, you just feel you get better as a player, honestly. Um, but then besides that, it does slow down a little bit and you start to see stuff a little better, I would say.